Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. We have for you a 2009 Bobcat V417 Versa Handler. This is a cool little machine. Uh, this machine is um, a 2009 again, has 908 hours on it. Uh, the hours are right. Uh, machine has typical fiberglass on the side of these uh, telehandlers. It's got some marks in it. We're going to show you. Uh, machine is 95% all original paint. Uh, we'll show you up on the quick tacks we touched up and the axles we touched up just because it was fading. Uh, other than that, the white is excellent. Uh, really a nice, clean little machine. Uh, this machine has a cab enclosure on it. All glass side, glass windshield, glass back. Uh, it does not have a door, but it does have a heater in it. Um, really, again, a nice little machine. So, uh, 4,400 pound lift, uh, powered by a Kubota diesel engine. We're going to start you here right under the hood, take it to play around this machine. So, before I open the hood, I'm going to show you. This had a chip up here. In the fiberglass, we did touch that up. Um, back here, it had a, a, a mark in it. We did touch that up. It's not, the fiberglass is not like it's junk or anything like that. The rest of the hood's in very nice shape, and we did wash and wax it. Uh, I did put a new decal on the side. And I'm not hiding any of this. I want to be as honest as I uh, humanly possibly can be in our listings and videos. That's why we take the time to do this for you. We're going to go ahead and open the hood up. So... This is powered by a Kubota, which I absolutely love about this setup. Uh, Kubota V3300T. Same engine that they put over in the Bobcat S220s, S250s, S300s, T250, T300 uh, machines. Um, it is using the same style Bobcat belt drive setup to the hydrostatic pump that they did on the skid loaders, uh, which is great because if you understand how the skid loader works, you'll have no trouble with this. It's a very, very basic and forward setup. Um, one thing we did notice, there was a, um, a little wee bit of a noise on the belt drive system. So we went ahead and pulled the cover when we were doing our service work, and we did find that the belt tensioner had some wear on it. So we went ahead, uh, it was $586. I believe for the belt tensioner. It's just a bigger version of the one that's in the skid steer and we did put a brand new one of them on. I have the receipt to prove that. Fuel, engine oil, both air filters are changed. We've, we've been writing on all our filters to prove that we do our service work. Um, hydraulic oil filters changed. We had to get this filter here from Bobcat. This is what is called your pilot valve filter, which uh, is for your pilot valve on the joystick. So there again, nobody can tell me that I didn't do my service work. We like to get through that. Something else I did do, we put a brand new uh, fan and alternator belt on also, and everybody know that. Pulled the plugs, checked the planetaries, everything there is as clean as a pin and full. So, you know, this machine is ready to go to work. That's how I like to sell my stuff. Uh, and that way I have no regrets. I have nobody calling me, you know, chewing me out, uh, nothing like that. Any used machine can have a problem, uh, but we went to our uh, best of our ability here to check this machine out. So, machine has 1417.5 rubber. It is all 75 to 85% matched up. Um, and that is the original paint on the rims. That has not been painted. Coming here to the back, you can see counterweight light brackets are very nice. Uh, counterweight's very straight, has a back tie down point. Diesel fuel is up here. All this white paint on the back is original. Other than there was, um, these are all scuffed up here and we didn't touch the tops of those up. Um, battery cutoff switch and no these fenders are not painted they actually are the original black okay they are not painted they have a very nice shine to them we didn't even put any um, any type of uh, protectant on them they were that nice we'll go completely around and we'll show you inside the cab um, again axles we did touch up because of the the black paint was just coming off of them there was faded real bad you can see the rubber again all matches up 14 17 5 does have a factory set of Bobcat 48 inch forks. This is their 5,500 pound class fork. The backrest has had a dent in it. Uh, doesn't affect anything, just so everybody understand that. Black paint on the boom is all original. We waxed it and it shines very, very, very nice. And there again, this has a front fender kit, rear fender kit. It does have rear view mirror here and rear view mirror on the cap. We did paint the quick tacks just because it was just typical Bobcat powder coat was coming off. Uh, we have greased every single joint. There is no oil leaks on this machine. Uh, it is a nice, dry little machine. Coming around here. So, here is the story. Seat is in beautiful condition. Does have a heater system that was put in because this machine would have just had a front window and a side glass. I did purchase from Bobcat the brand new back window. It is a factory Bobcat window. 
this plexiglass piece was in here uh, when I purchased it but we did put a uh, heater box was in it and it does have heat and I mean it does does keep you uncomfortable in the machine so we'll go ahead and we'll hop in here real quick we'll show you a couple things you have a nice handy little pull down bar that acts as your safety okay when you're in the machine so it isn't going to do anything until you pull this down so you grab your forward and reverse for your shuttle we're going to show you here we start it 908 hours you do have a park brake switch when you flip that park brake switch off it disengages the brake whenever you come to neutral or stop it automatically applies your brakes so you're going to put it in forwards and then it'll release the parking brake like that now when you go back to neutral you'll see the parking brake light comes back on so that's how that machine operates stop put it back in parking brake comes back on the end of this control is your two speed Push this in, that's high and low range. Come on in here once a We're going to show you it has a work mode um, that, that basically puts it in work mode where it's a uh, different configuration on the auxiliary or the transmission on the hydrostat. You can shut that off, you can go into creep mode, which I found myself using. Um, I've run this machine around, we've put a couple hours on it to make sure everything was right. You can dial this machine down to all but zero and it'll hardly move. So there we're at eight. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move forward. Again, very basic, very standard controls. Does have a suspension style seat, uh, light package on it. So they're gonna like to spend this time to go through and show people that stuff works. Heater is on a switch right here, which you can hear there, the fan works. Uh, it does make very good heat. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this machine up. I'm gonna run it around for you. I'll put the boom clear up, I'll run it clear out. We're gonna run it around here, shake this through all its gears, so which basically have high and low. You'll see me flying back and forth here with it. We're going to put it through all its motions so you can see that it does everything we've told you it'll do. Here we go.
Well, I hope you can see there from the video, this little machine runs, works, and handles very well. Uh, I noticed there we have one cab light out, and we did put a new horn on, and I'm going to see if we have a fuse or something. We'll have that checked out. The horn wasn't blowing, uh, but we will have that checked out, and the light will be fixed. If you have any questions at all on this machine, you want to come by, run it yourself in person, you are more than welcome to do so. I have nothing to hide. Uh, guarantee this machine to run and work 100%, just the way I say it does. Uh, it's not a piece of junk. There's a lot of junk out there on the market. Heck, I was doing my research. There's a guy that has one for sale that has something wrong with it, and they want $37,000 for it. So I don't think I'm crazy in my pricing. So uh, please understand, it does have cab enclosure. There is no door. Uh, there wasn't a door. Um, beginning it does have a heater box in it so and it does work very well a very good rubber this is not a welded up leaking piece of junk this is a good running working machine that we've done our service on and i know is a good machine there's absolutely no aftermarket welding on it uh, it's a nice straight machine again if you have any questions please let us know check out our website www.marksupplyco.com see us on tractor house machinery trader and on ebay at mark supply 88 as always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. If you have a question, we're simply a phone call away, 814-658-3066. As always, have a great day.